Welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I want to go over a, another plugin from a company that I'm a big fan of at the moment, uh, Retouch For Me. So they've given me very kindly a license for their uh, Clean Backdrop plugin. And um, I've gone ahead and installed this inside Photoshop already. So let's just have a look at their web page for this. And it really just does what it says on the box. So I think if you're using a seamless background, a cove, or maybe a colored color armor or something that's going to get a lot of traffic through a shoot, maybe you're shooting at e-commerce and you've got a lot of model changes and there's people walking all over the backdrop. Obviously you start off a shoot with the best intentions and everyone are always told, let's keep the backdrop clean. It will save money and it will save hassle in the long run, but it never really works out like that. So yeah, as I said, it really does what it says on the box. And here's some examples on their website of before and afters. And I think it's really gonna save you a lot of time just cleaning these backdrops up um, when you're producing a lot of images. So typically for a fashion e-commerce shoot, you would probably shoot four to five images full length. You'd be including the background and the floor. And these are things that you would have to work on to clean up. Now let's jump over to Photoshop and we'll work on the image that I have for the clean backdrop and I'll show you how it works. So let's just dive over to Photoshop now. So this is the image I have and let's zoom in to the floor and I'll show you how dirty this picture is. So this was from an editorial shoot and as you can see the floor is a bit messed up. This was a grey colorama and I think we were about four to five shots into the day and of course you can start replenishing the background, you can bring more paper down, you can have a cleaner floor but these backdrops are pretty expensive and yeah I think in the long term it's cheaper to do it this way. So let's go ahead and run this plugin for Retouch For Me. As I said, it's called Clean Backdrop. And once you've installed the Retouch For Me panel, it comes in on Photoshop under their plugins pane. So you just need to click on that and you need to run the Clean Backdrop plugin. So on the panel, click on Clean Backdrop and it will take a few seconds to run the uh, action and then it will come back with a mask and clean the background up. So there you go, it's already cleaned up the background incredibly well. So not only is it clean the floor, it's also evened out the backdrop. So let's just, um, it's, it's created a layer with our new mask and the clean backdrop on. So we can obviously turn that off and have a look. So you can see some of the wrinkles on the background and um, obviously the dirt on the floor. So let's just toggle that on and off. Let's zoom in, background. So that's off, that's on. Let's go to the floor. Let's have a look at the floor, on and off. And look how easy that is to clean the background up. So yeah, it's, um, let's just zoom into this part here. As you can see also on the background, there are some dry marks on the actual paper itself. Let's see if it's cleaned that up. Yep, it's pretty much evened that out. And let's go full screen, on and off. So really that is going to save you an awful lot of time uh, for each of your images. Obviously there's things you'll probably need to go in finesse a little bit, but you can use the clone stamp to get rid of that little wrinkle that's in the background there and anything else that you feel needs some attention. But all in all, I'm very impressed with this plugin and I will be using it on a lot of my shoots and um, retouching in the future. So yeah, let me know if you have a quicker way of retouching backgrounds and how you do it, because I'm always interested in other methods um, other than these plugins to see how people are using Photoshop maybe without plugins and you have your own method of uh, retouching backgrounds and making them cleaner. Uh, so yeah, leave those in the comments below and um, hopefully We'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. If you did like today's video, if you found it useful, please give me a thumbs up. Please consider subscribing. If you would like to see more content from this channel, ring that bell. And I will definitely see you in the next video. Bye for now.